Hey guys, Get Level here, and today I'm giving you a free Stinger Transition template for your live streams. Now transitions are kind of the rare thing to come across as a live streamer because you don't just need Photoshop, for example. You need an actual compositing software that can export transparent backgrounds on a video. And the fact that most broadcasting softwares do not allow you to add filters to those transitions, if you find a custom Stinger transition that does not use your own colors, it's hard to modify it within the broadcasting software. So today, I'm gonna give you a free template on After Effects. Okay, I understand that not a lot of people have access to Adobe After Effects, but I'm looking into a free software uh, version of it. But for now, the template that I'm giving away will allow you to pick the colors from your color scheme, but also add your logo pretty easily. And this is what we're gonna be going through today. But first, this portion of the video is sponsored by Owned. Owned is your one-stop shop for customizing your live stream. They have a wide variety of customizable products from your logo, your banner, your offline image, your animated overlays, your sub emotes, your loyalty points, subscriber badges, everything from start to finish. When checking out their complete packages, right here you will find the interactive showcase. So if you want to know what the donation alert within the pack would look like, just click on it. And there you go. Then you have all the options, animated overlay, webcam overlay, which look at that. They even considered people who use green screens. They also provide gaming mascots and an avatar maker, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All you have to do is go to own.gg slash gal level. That's O-W-N-3-D.gg slash gal level. Once again, this is the last call for the giveaway. Owned actually gave me five keys worth 50 euros each to use on their website, and I'm giving them away for free. All you have to do to participate is follow me on Twitter and tweet this very video. Don't forget to tag me in it. All right, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects. I'm going to play the transition for you. Well, technically, in transition terms, it's a pretty long transition. It's two seconds long. So it pops in and then it pops out. The video you're watching is probably 30 or 24 FPS. The actual transition is going to be 60 FPS, so it's going to be extra smooth. Now, how would you go about customizing this? Easy steps. First of all, you need to pick the colors. And then second of all, we're going to go over importing your logo. Now, hopefully you've seen tutorials on the basics of Adobe After Effects. Please do not get After Effects for this. <laughs> so. You have three compositions in that project. The first one is gonna be your transition, which is the main composition. It's like the final product. This is what you're gonna export. And then the second one is gonna be uh, your logo. This is where you can put your logo. And then the third one is gonna be colors, where you see those two little bars here. If you don't see them, just move your timeline until you see them. So when you click color one, okay, you click it once. Up top here, you will see fill and stroke. Fill obviously is the color that you want to choose. So you pick whatever your color scheme is. I, I showed in my previous video how to get the exact colors from your own logo. Um, so you can use that or you can just color pick it. And let's say that you want to go with something. Let's, let's go with something kind of uh, that matches. Let's go with blue. And then you click on color two. And then you click on fill. And you go with yellow. Colors that kind of match. Let's go with a more orangey yellow there we go boom and now if you come back to the transition it's updated okay it matches your color now when it comes to your logo there's going to be this text here and what you can do is either make it invisible or you can delete it altogether. it doesn't matter but the goal here is to import your logo and make it fit into this composition okay this is a 1000 by 1000 i don't know why i'm telling you this but go find your logo somewhere on your computer. For example, I have my logo right here. It's always better if you have a transparent, actually you need a transparent background, otherwise it's gonna look kind of awkward. But anyways, I'm gonna click and drag this in here. I can actually drag it into here. Wait a couple seconds. <laughs> I didn't put it in the composition. Anyways, your logo is here in your project. We're gonna drag it into your timeline, boom. Now, as you can see, it doesn't fit yet. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard, or you can click on that little arrow and go to transform and then scale. This is where you can scale it down. You scale it down until it fits within the bounds, the boundaries. Uh, you can make it even pretty close. That's fine. Let's make that background thing invisible. 
And then now, technically, if I chose the right colors and stuff like that, everything should be good, right? Of course, I didn't put the, <laughs> the right colors. I can go back and pick like a, a purple. And now if I go back to transition, boom, my transition is done. I'm going to press zero on my keyboard to do a RAM preview. And here it is. My Stinger transition is done. Now, all I have to do is export it. And the way I do that is make sure that this composition is selected. So transition, I'm going to go to composition up top here. I'm going to click add to render queue. Okay. Under output module, I'm going to click on that lossless thing. I'm going to go and select QuickTime. Make sure that animation is selected in format option. Okay. And then video output channels right here. I'm going to click RGB plus alpha. This is basically the transparency of it. Okay. Audio output. I didn't add any sound effects. You can add one if you want to. Going to put that off. Going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on name output two to pick where I want to export it. Create a new folder. Just my own thing. I like exp for export. And that's going to be transition.mov. I know that MOV is just one out of many formats to have transparency, but this is the simplest way I have to export it. If you know how to export in WebM, which is the preferred format for transparency, by all means, do your thing. And then click Render. Okay, so we're here in Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to show you how to add a transition. So on top of my scene list, I'm going to go click on that little cogwheel. As you can see, it says edit scene transitions. And then my global transition, I'm going to edit it. You can add a new transition if you want, but I'm just going to put it as a global transition. When it comes to the transition type, this is where we're going to select Stinger. Okay. Uh, duration, this is actually like what I just exported is three seconds for you. It's going to be about 2000. So it's going to be two seconds. We're going to pick the video file that we just exported from After Effects. And then very important transition point, which is the point where you want the scenes to switch. We're going to put 1000 because it's at one second within the transition that we want the scenes to switch because that's where the whole screen is filled with the transition. If you don't put that, it's going to switch and then show the transition. You don't want that. Okay. I'm going to click done. I'm going to click done. Now, something to note is that transitions are pretty heavy on your machine, on your computer. So if you're using like a laptop or, or a bad <laughs> computer, you might have to play with the transition point because it might get it to play very slowly, basically. Okay. This actually might happen to me right now because I'm not only recording with OBS Studio, I have After Effects running, I have Streamlabs OBS running, and yeah, my my machine is under a lot of stress right now. So let's click on um, my Be Right Back screen, for example, and see if the transition plays. And it does. Perfectly, actually. <laughs> there you go. Let's go back to full screen. That simple. So the download link to the After Effects project file will be in the description. OK, it's probably going to be media fire. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep it up. Um, so download it while you can. And to recap really quickly is change the colors, add your logo, export it and then use it. Uh, if you're using other software like OBS Studio to stream or XSplit, just Google how to add a sting and transition to those. <laughs> like, I don't need to tell you that. But yeah, as I said in the beginning, I am looking into uh, uh, finding a free software that will allow us to create sting and transitions. And I would probably be making a template for whatever software that is also. I have HitFilm Express. I'll probably uh, do one on HitFilm Express if it's even possible to export like transparent background and stuff. Once again, don't forget to tweet this video, tag me in it in order to participate in a giveaway of 250 euros of a uh, product on own.tv. And if you're looking for pre-made overlays and transition packs that are affordable or even free, go to gumroad.com slash gallevel. That's where I keep them. <laughs>
So yeah, depending on how this video does, I might make more in the future, more templates and stuff like that. I don't really like doing templates because I end up teaching people how to use After Effects and DMs and I don't want to do that. But if again, if this video does well, I might do more templates like that. But that's about it for today. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. Stay inside, be cautious and all of that. I will see you guys next time. Make me proud. Get level out.